Sorry. Kal. Kal. Whatever. Yesterday I shared with you mix with sadhak deha and siddha deha. I want to say, share in the siddha deha how to see. How to visualize the thing with the siddha deha means in a spiritual body. how the manjaris are looking and how she feels separation when she not connect with herself with the yesterday of Swamini. Because tomorrow I have to share, because many are sitting, newcomers were there, they come for one day for class. so that they understand. So, I say many things in the beginning that about the how to come to the spiritual consciousness. So, we, you, all sadhak who is practicing for Manjari Saru, they automatically reach when they listen to one word from me. So I think all you will relish that. Yeah. So we can do from the beginning, Gurudev? Yeah. Verse number 103. Oh, Kripa Moi. Merciful girl, if you are not kind upon this suffering girl, then what? Why we are suffering? Because we have so much diversion with my condition. That is my suffering. Not material thing is giving me suffering. Because we are conditioned with my senses, body and mind and ego, that is suffering to me. My condition of material identification, my ego, my identification of my bodily consciousness is suffering to me. That creates suffering. But you are so kind, after this suffering you want to give mercy to me. I am ready to suffer. Like a one eh, warm animal. What do you say? Warm. warm. In the shit. Stool. 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 They don't want to, you took out from the warm. Again they will walk to the warm. If you put the sweet, they will not go to the sweet side, they will go to the shit, to the stool. So our nature is this. She is so kind, we are the stool sick and uh, warm. We want to go back for suffering and she want to remove to go for the sweet and we are not ready. And we go back again to, to the toilet to eat that. This is our nature because of my condition. So see, I am crying to out from this, but I am so conditioned I cannot come out and you are so merciful you bring me out from that. Oh, Kripa Moi, 
If you are not kind, if you are not kind, who will kind to me? Your love is so kind, you are showing me sweet to go. You say to come to the sweet, of sweetness of love you give. But I want to, just a moment I get the time and go back there for my senses, things, material things. But you are kind to me. Yeah. If you are not kind upon this suffering girl, then what was the use of all these lamentations? <coughs> what the use of this life? Yeah. And all my service to your lake for such a long time. Sri Ragunat is the embodiment of separation. Lake means also one. Lake of love. Your lake, your kunda is of love. Your lake is full of love. I'm sitting near to your la lake, and if you're not kind, how? What is the use for my limitation, suffering? What is the use of what I'm doing? I'm near to your lake, and I cannot understand this. Your love. Your mercy. Sri Raghunath is the embodiment of separation from Sri Radha. Why separation? Because I am in, not in my sarup. That is my suffering. I forget my spiritual identity that I am living soul and I am your dasi, servant. I am yours. I am yours. Take me out. I have no energy to go out from this suffering. Bring me out. Falling on the bank of Radha Kunda, he weeps out of great separation from his mistress. The moment is separation when I am not in my circle. You come to this material identity, and that is suffering. This second, first suffering that I am conditioned, and second suffering that I am not in my sarup, so that makes me distance from you. Huh? He knows not how to save his life anymore. Day and night, the river of his burning devotion swells, being filled up by the rains of grief. Rain. And the rains suffering. of grief. Yeah. Suffering. Rain is suffering. The moment we come out from my spiritual identity, we come to the suffering. If we know the goal, how we suffer when we miss something. And I miss that, 
So this is my suffering that I am far from that. Like a material person, he suffer for his girlfriend, and girlfriend suffer for his boyfriend. Similarly, the sarupavish person he suffer when he is not in his sarupavish, and he is not with her swami service. He suffer like that. Same grief is coming. But that come only by the sarupavish, my spiritual identity, my feel, and my love become changed in this direction. That's a govardhan. More and more, my lust is coming to serve you. Day and night, the river of his burning devotion swells, being filled up by the rains of grief and flowing ever more forcefully towards the nectar ocean. This suffering is flowing like a river. towards the ocean of your love. My suffering from you make me to flow. It's not a drop, it's a flow, like a river melting for you. And it goes only to your direction, only for you. And you are the ocean of love. By giving your mercy, my life can change. That you give your service, that service will change my life. What service? Of you. Service of love. Service of in loving. Love. Service of pleasure giving potency. Who give the pleasure to Creator and His creation, that service. Service. One pointed for one goal. That service is a meaning for my life. Other service, whole life I do, working for company, that is also service, taking care of the family, also service to take care of the children. But this service, totally based on material, one day all they will say bye-bye because they are such, they no need your service now. But here, when you will go in the service, you will be more and more enlightened and grow in that mood, in loving and caring mood. That service is teaching me to do that way, how to love and live in love connection, because you are the teacher of love. You can give love to the Creator, what about His creation? That Creator, what we give to Creator, it goes in creation. So by your mercy I can learn to do this service for you, that your service will go through me to where you want to be. For me, you are the everything. Love is the way. You are the goddess of love. 
you are the all mercy flow from you and you are always ready to give mercy so this river is flowing ever more towards the nectar ocean of Sri Radhika's lotus feet. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> nectar ocean is this. You see the water ocean. <coughs> now you see the nectar ocean. Love, when it becomes full, with the waves, that is nectar This From her is an ocean of nectar flowing. Loves make you to reach to the nectar, highest peak of the rust. Nectar. Juicy. We may have a feeling of want when something small is missing in our lives. And when we get something small, we may feel fulfilled. But this is material mm -hmm. in life. Read again. We may have a feeling of want when something small is missing in our lives. And when we get something small, we may feel fulfilled. Wow. This is my material. <laughs> I think small thing fulfilled. Yeah. But when we miss something tremendous, no peace and satisfaction can be felt unless and until we have gotten the whole thing. Sri Raghunata Das Goswami's eagerness and hankering for his Ishtadev stands before us as Ishtadev means my lover. What is my meditation? Raghunath Das Goswami Ishta is a love, goddess of love. Mm. That name also, Radha. Watch the flow go up and the other goes down. Watch the flow go up one point to his lover. That is lover, is Krishna. We don't see Krishna as a god, we see Radhika's lover the highest lover in the universe, like a goddess of fortune, is Lakshmi, and goddess of love is Radha. Like you said, goddess of fortune, Lakshmi, whole world worship Lakshmi. We cannot live without Lakshmi. We use Lakshmi. And goddess of love is Radha, who goes upside, upper side. Like you do the yoga, you, you come out, you are living in Muladhara and you want to go to Anahar and more higher than Anahar. It's going up. That flow, what brings up, that is Radha. 
reaching to the highest place, that's a rather. The flowing up, upper side, automatic without pump, no need to pump it. <clears throat> Shiraguna Das Goswami's eagerness and hankering for his beloved deity. That is his beloved deity. Who bring him up. That is pleasure giving potency and name is Radha. This stands before us as the peak of the Himalayas. Mm, peak of Himalaya, I explain that. Peak of Himalaya. In the Himalaya mountain you go near, is a peak in so high that you cannot cross it. You want to jump and cross it, you cannot. And where you see Himalaya? So in our life you become like a peak of Himalaya. You all so Swamini, you become Radhika, you become so f big like a Himalaya in my front. I cannot cross that. I swear I see my vision where goes, I see you only. And I cannot go out from that vision. That meaning of peak of Himalaya. All, all you, I cannot jump it, I cannot cross it, I cannot go far, further than that. I am blocked here to you, and where I see, I see only to you. Go in the front of Himalaya, you cannot see other thing, you only see Himalaya. So this is the mercy of you. You bring near to you and you, I block, I stop here to see always to you, every moment in my life. And is insignificant living? Here, come sit here. An insignificant living entity cannot find any means to reach this high summit. <coughs> An insignificant living entity we are cannot find this. Cannot find any means, any any anything to reach that high summit. A person who does not practice any bhajan cannot possibly fathom Sri Raghuna Das Goswami's anguish of love and separation. If we don't do bhajan, means remembering you, your beauty, your glories, <coughs> your kindness, your mercy, I don't pray you, I don't want to remember you, I cannot understand Raghunath Das Goswami how he's suffering without missing in his life without her. His moment he don't feel and see, he miss very much because he likes to be always in that spiritual form to always meditate on one point. We don't want to come out 
from his inner spiritual form and identification. He don't want to miss his any moment of his second in his life out of this. No desire now over for other For that we need bhajan in our life to realize this. How beautiful mercy He has. I want to bhajan to realize my spiritual identity, to feel how much suffering in the outside and how much nectar relishing inside in our spiritual life. Because bhajan is giving taste in my life. Bhajan increases the taste to relish that open the vision to understand that, to feel it, to deep subject. At every moment, new waves of ever-increasing eagerness roll in the river of his heart. He is not able to tolerate the pangs of separation from Sri Radha anymore for even a moment. Because that is painful. And separation can come when I existence, change my existence. In my body existence, my sense existence, it will not come. It will come in the purity of my sarup, soul identity, in my spiritual identity. The moment I come out from that, we will disconnect ourselves. And when you connect and practice this, then slowly, slowly it becomes mountain in your front. You do only for that. When it becomes mountain, this connection becomes like a mountain, then what you are working, what you are doing, is all for mountain. There's nothing else. Is every action become for the mountain? You're taking bath, going to toilet, and taking, changing your clothes, sleeping, eating, walking, working in the company working in yoga, anything you do, what you are doing, you are doing for the mountain, because relation become very strong. You only see mountain, but then we <coughs> take time to see a mountain. Only I have to near to him to only see you. Then you are all fixed. Means, jit dekho, tit sham mai, what I see, where I see, what I do, only one pointed I see. What I do for you, or what I... coming, moving, everything is for you. Nothing else is for in my mind and life. 
all is over, done. I am fully satisfied with other things, then it is happening. <coughs> You become mountain to me. Your missing make me like a mountain in my life to you. I so much miss because of you, and I am so much feeling separation that you come like a mountain in my front. And what is happening now in my life? I become your instrument now. Is happening. I am not a doer, I am your instrument. When I was doer, you were looking to me, and I am, I am your instrument, then you are my doer, and I am watching how you do for me, how you are kind to me, how you are merciful to me. Bad time coming, oh, I'm so lucky. Hard time, but I'm lucky, I'm more safe now. Lucky, hard time will not disturb you, and good time will not make you much happy. You will be always balanced. Why? Because you are not too hard. You do nothing, you are watching what is happening and you assess with that. Certainly, Radharani may sometimes respond to the anguish of separation that the loyal maidservant goes through. But that response will be momentarily. For increasing my test, that she also understands what you feel. If somebody not respond, if you smile and you cry and somebody not put his hand in your, close to you and try to console you, then she responds. She responds for the moment. She responds. How, if she not responding and you no feel the response, then how you will relate more? It's not that. Nothing is happening. You talk with Radha Mohan, he will respond to you. You ask something. Go and say something, and you will get the answer. You don't believe, do it and see that. Sit and talk with him. When you will watch, you will not see anything, just you will not understand. Slowly come close to him and sit and watch and meditate. They will start talking and you will feel today how they are feeling. Today is they are serious or smiling. Who can see? Who is close, they can see. How, where they are looking, what they are looking, what they are feeling, you can respond. They can respond to you. Respond us. And respond, it makes more taste and increasing my taste also, developing it. But it's temporary. We have to watch and go deep in that. It increasing my greed and desire. So we want to be, when we come, we want to be close to Radha Mohan, that's how he responds me, and how I get the result, and what will happen to me. You can see, test.
when I was not thinking for him, formality and singing the bhajan in the arti, very naive, like a young boy. He say, Arhe, what you are thinking for toilet? And why are you thinking for toilet? Think for me. Toilet will come automatic and everything will happen automatically. This is response. Why you think this in my front? Are you crazy or what? Why you think outside? Think for me. Bother for me, I will bother for you. You bother for other thing, how he will bother for you? He will respond, my dear, believe me. But temporary, I said, temporary, what is the problem, temporary? Just a moment to feel it, that he, my, what I am sharing, he understand or not. Means he is very close to me. Responding means closeness. No responding means no closeness. Maybe late respond, early respond, but in small will come, hundred percent. Doubt, no need to doubt it. Seeing Swamini for just a moment makes the darkness of separation that comes down later seem even more deep. It is then as if Sri Raghunath's love-scented ears then hear the following words, Tulasi, I am very close by. Why are you lamenting like this? How much Raghunath desires to hear that nectarian mocking voice. Yeah. This is the spawn. I'm here. Yeah. Always with you. Watching for a moment to answer you. But the wind of his stuttering life airs make it vanish again. What is this? We? How much Raghunath desires to hear that nectarian mocking voice but the wind of his stuttering life airs make it vanish again. Again to think on that. Come and go. Mercy comes. You are ready to receive, you can get it. If you are not ready to receive, it will come and go. What means to be ready for mercy? To receive the mercy. My ears has to be ready to listen this voice. 
my feeling feeling has to open to feel it and understand it and accept it and some are not bhajan not deep in that subject it comes and go we don't understand the moment will come and go but if i am ready i will receive it if i am not ready rain will fall rain but we cannot what you say fill the bucket we cannot fill our bucket my bucket will be empty my conscious because of unconscious we will not care full to receive it rather in this way his desire to see her increases more and more yeah oh once it happens desire increases more than and that we need bhajan kriya bhajan to be the that everything is become mauna from other side and open only for goal of my life what is mauna mauna means to be mauna talking and no white as you know mauna with your senses mauna with your other material design forget that practice to forget it will again and again come forget mona mona means practice mona then reality will open real air will open real eyes with divine vision will come my all lower and upper senses will open all senses will change my ego will become humble kind of i will become kind changes will come automatic without doing nothing because my desire is fixed one point right hindi se se apni aadat badal lo ho gaya bhajan Are you change your habit only? What you are bad habits are disturbing in my life. Change that. That is the result of changing our your habit is a bhajan. Why not change it? Because my desire is there. So my habits are not changing. So my bhajan is not happening. my habit is not changing i am akiti is in same condition we don't want to change and the change is not outside man change inside change to myself i have to change myself you have to change yourself I would have to change. Go on. Oh, Kripa Moy Swamini. Oh, merciful mistress. I am such a sad girl. If you don't bestow your mercy upon me, then what is the use of all my lamentations you not listen me what i lament lamenting for you not listen 
What is the use of lament? You know, it's respond me. And you don't respond, then why I will lament for you? Why? What is the use of my lamentation? But I know you respond. That makes my heart more melty and more suffering, that more to more to do for you. You why you respond and respond and make me more greedy for that. You respond, make me more greedy. And little more and more crazy to my mind. Only for one point. To see you and you become like a Himalaya in my front. I want to go left, right, in front, no way for me. And I don't want to go back, but I want to go left, right, but every place I see you. This is Manjari is doing. Mansi cannot go back. They don't want to go back to the bodily consciousness for sensual enjoyment or to be in false ego. They are no interested. They want to go front, but they cannot go front you or they are like a Himalaya. <laughs> My eyes, how can cross this? <clears throat> My capacity is not to cross and go over than that. What to do now? What I can see only to you. I have lived by your lake Radha Kunda for so long serving it. If you don't reveal yourself, then what is the use of all that service? Use the last. If you're not revealing service, is useless. It's better to run away from that. If she no reveal, go out. Why to bother? <laughs> See, reveal, so your intensity is growing more. She reveal you, Mama. Don't hide that. Who are you? If she not reveal how you like to be here, how you like to suffer, You become sick, but you are happy, no problem. Tomorrow I will become good, no problem. You don't bother for the problem because something happened to you and that happening you reveal me something. So my interest grows, growing up. This is Vrindavan. Once first you come, you will get the. You will, she will reveal you. You don't know about Vrindavan, but she will come and touch you, and you will start feeling more and more. You see, Shamagori mother, Russian, she come first time. And he start dreaming, a small boy in the forest with the calf. You see, he's not revealing, no touch. She went to Jamna, she starts lifting the flow of love. 
she never see the flower like that. She starts looking. It's not a flower of any material world. It's a divine world flower. She reached to the divine world. She don't know from where this flower and garden is coming. My God. It's not surprising. It's a touching your heart, revealing to herself. First time. Then one person said, I am so many times coming, it's not revealing. Why? Not revealing because if she reveals, so you are coming, Baba. And it happens. Now you want more to more to know. So you have to wait and develop your bhajan to more to reveal. More deeper place she wants to be. Is a front. Inside you want to reveal, you have to go more deep bhajan to purity for yourself. It will come. And when it will start coming, it will not stop, Baba. It's like a wave will start coming. So this is our preparatory time to be a strong to receive that waves. Then you have no time to prepare yourself, no time for preparation. So the good luck, wait and watch for that moment. This miserable and suffering person bows down humbly at your lotus feet, considering them to be the only goal of his life. And he continuously weeps loudly and pitifully begs, May the Queen of Vrindavana be merciful to me and allow me in her own party, engaging me in her direct service. Wow. Make me in own party, in your group, and allow me to give some service. That's it. Make me in your group. I am in different group. I want to request to bring in your group, in your group party, and give some service. That's it. Keep me in your group. That is my prayer to you. And give some service to me that I can always think for you. What is the problem? And that, going in that group and your service, all will be okay. You will see how the change will come in life. Which group you are? In the group of love. In the circle of love, because the, in this group everyone is loving and unconditional loving and tolerance and kind and merciful, always peaceful, happy, you are in that group. Automatically I have no kindness, it will come. I am fighter, I will change. Or this group will change me. Make me in my your group. My all bad habit will automatic change by looking to others. Because I am living in the group where they are all full of bad habits person. So this group will change my all the activities different ways. Is all the business of the group. I influence with that and I learn that thing 
But in your group, when I will come, I will change myself automatically. And this group, and some service, any service, give me. And I will work for that service physically. Service is important physically. When the spiritual identity comes, that moment I have to serve. If I am not prepared before that, I cannot do that in my spiritual consciousness. We will miss to do something. And then what I will do? I don't know anything to do. I don't know how to clean it. I don't know how to do anything. Then why, where to know? We can know in the practical room. Why we go to the physics, study chemistry, we go theory class and practical class. Practical means is a body, material body, and family and the circumstances to learn this. And theory class is this, that we have to listen and and, and third thing, homework, to practice that. When you make it in day-to-day -day life to feel it, that is in our practice. Homework we have to do. We have to make it in every moment of life to be like that. That's the homework. Imagination. I say, imagine make you to realize. If you not imagine, then you will imagine negative things. When you will imagine negative things, your negative energy will grow. If you imagine positive things, your positive energy will go. And if you imagine, that will come to the realization. And realization comes when you do homework. Is not a philosophy without this step to understand that. Philosophy, you one listen, is a very good, very good, very good. You keep in mind or not mind, nobody will ask you. Again, you go other class, very good, very good. Nobody will ask what you conclude to understand. But here, every step, other will watch you. The group will watch you, uh, how you behaving. Group will support us because one and all are doing something, and they will watch for you are you are your homework you are doing. You practice imagination. Your negativeness is going out from you or not? And more softness, more kindness, more lovingness will come, and that is means your all negative energies are going out. Old friends will go out. They are not easy to leave you without your practice, without, if I don't create new friends, old friends will stay longer and that will give suffering in my life. My ego my sense enjoyment, my material desire. Oh, no, 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 no one going to leave us. He's my old friend from so long time. This miserable and suffering person. You see, this is miserable. My old friend make me miserable and suffering. 
and they make me to suffer. They are, they are suffering and they create suffering. So I want to change your group, Swamini. Your group I will change, then your group will change, change, change me. I don't want to be in that group what I am practicing. I want to go in your group to change myself. I want service from you to do and fix my mind and my, self, my body and all my things in your lotus feet, to you, one point. Yeah. Bows down humbly at her lotus feet, mm. considering them to be the only goal of his life. Only you are my goal of life. Only goal of life. Love is the only goal, you have to understand. Love is the only goal. And love is the center, and love is the way. Without love is no, no way to move it. You cannot move your life without love. Way, love is the way. Love is the center, and love is the goal, goal of life. <coughs> you are the only goal of my life. I don't know any God and any Creator. I know you, that you can teach me everything. I don't bother. I want to be in loving behavior. If God come, we will see Him. Not come, no, but I want to be in that. He say, Krishna Bhagavad Gita, they are my dear who behave devotional practice. You see, all devotional practice, they are my dear who is tolerant, loving, caring, they never feel boss themselves. They are my dear, right? Why you say my dear? Because, my dear, because they are following the way of my, her dear, Radhika. So they say, you are my dear, you understand the real way of life. You are my dear, you are real understanding, you got it, because you follow the way of my Swami Radhike. Love, you follow the way of love. You are no politics, no fighting, nothing, only love and the group of love and sharing and and, and living with the compassion, kindness, mercy. You are my dear, because you follow the way of dear, my darling. You are my dear. You not follow my philosophy, what I say, a whole Bhagavad Gita, but you really follow. Got it, the way of my. Lava. So you are my dear. You are my dear because that is the way of spiritual life, devotional practice. But we are not interested in this. We are interested in philosophy to know God. Are <laughs> What you will do by knowing God? Knowing God is no meaning when doubts come in. Love God. And love is emptiness. How you will know God? He will come, I am a God. You say, I don't believe you are God. You will not look like a God. I am God, my dear. I say, no, no, I don't believe. You have nothing like God and be here. Because you have no love, you will know it. Bible say, when I was child, I was looking face to face to you. I grown up with my false ego. Now I cannot see you are dark. 
my mirror become dark, I cannot see even my face. What about you to see? Saint Paul, see that. Ego make us to distance, to darkness. How, when I cannot see myself, how I will see the God? Pause ego. God cannot see in, but without love. Show me any scripture that you can find God without love. I will accept that. I will follow that way. It's more easy. This is little difficult because here we have to do something. <laughs> but without love, you cannot get your wife, man. Your wife cannot get husband, man. You cannot get your mother, you will lose your mother. Although she loves whole life to you. Love is the only way. It moves and is the meaning of the life comes in life. In his lamentation, Sri Raghunath submits his own pitiable condition to Swamini's lotus feet. Yeah. Why humbleness? Humbleness, why Mahaprabhu say, Tanada peace chena. Become like a grass. Humbleness is the beauty of love. And what is the beauty of ego? Proudness is the beauty. Proud politics is the beauty of proudness. And fighting is the beauty of ego. If you are ego and you know fight, no meaning of that ego. <laughs> you see the Putin and American president, what is name? Trump. 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 <laughs> See, this is ego, boss. Huh? Ego. Ego is talking from them. And they only talk politics. Ego is there. You will like to listen politics. Your group is different, man. You like to fight. You like to be, do that. And why we want to go in Radhika? Circle because we don't have to fight. We, we don't know to fight. We want to be a tana, the peace of each other. We want to be a, like a grass, humble like a grass. We want to serve. We want to come out from this suffering. How much they are suffering, you can imagine? They can sleep or what? We are more better that we can sleep and eat peacefully. Right or not? This is the group of Radhika where you can be happy, peaceful. Tarora, peace, ashram. You can help to the others. Give somebody, throw you, give the fruit to them. Somebody cut you, you give the wood to them. They can be peaceful in whole time. They can cook their food for in from that. It's all helping. And then again they cut and come to the your shadow, you say, come and rest here. This is the greatness of the tree. They are the teacher. Grass is the teacher of love. They are all associates of Radhika. Chaitanya is a Radhika herself, Gaurangi. Gauranga, one name is Gaurangi. 
male form is Gauranga and female form is Radhika. Sri Radha. So I want to be in your group and I want to take small service, but in your group I want to serve something. All will change. In his lamentation, Sri Raghunath submits his own pitiable condition to Swamini's lotus feet, saying, For a long time I have stayed in your kunda, serving it. If you don't reveal yourself to me, that service to the kunda what will be the result of it? How dear the Kunda is to you. <clears throat> What's the use of my service without becoming the object of your mercy? At one point in verse 15, Śrīla Raghunadās Goswāmī said, When I saw the sweetness of your lake, I developed a desire to serve you. And in his Rad Radha Kundashtaka, he also glorified the sweetness of that lake so much. But when he feels the pain of separation, he says, When I am without my beloved, the kunda looks like the gaping mouth of a tiger to me. Ordinary people cannot under easily understand what confidential sentiments are hidden in these extraordinary words? What you see, when in my spiritual identity I feel different in Kunda, when my materialized separation is materializing, then what you see is that what I do. Well, I can't. He today is a black, tomorrow is a green, and dirty. This is like a different ideas will come because of concern. And when you see different way, one day one picture comes from the Kunda, it was black. No? I see the Kunda, I say, wow. Krishna picture is coming here. Yeah. Krishna, today's Kunda color is a Krishna color, black, full dark. I never see that color in Kunda. I see green and I see different color. But I never see that. I see white color in Kunda. Milky. One time I went there, it's a full of milk. I was surprised. Wow. I see green and today is white, like a milk. What a mercy is happening from the Kunda is a very surprise pastime is happening. What a dark Krishna, like a Krishna color. Miss Krishna jumped from Shamkund to Radhakund.
and if not in your spiritual consciousness, then you see different. Ordinary people cannot easily understand. Easily. Ordinary means material body concept. They cannot understand what confidential sentiments are hidden in these extraordinary words. <coughs> With great humility, Sri Raghunath says, Ha Kripamai, you are the embodiment of boundless grace and I am just a suffering girl. Suffering people are the objects of your compassion. Therefore, show me your quality of compassion and grant me your devotional service. Jai Jai Sri Rade Grant me your devotional service. Give me some service that I can fix my material identification and I can change that identity in divine mercy of Anybody has some question Gurudev is asking? I have the question, what is more uh, desirable or relishable, the lamentation and the crying for the service of Swamini or actually being in the service in your uh, spiritual identity because both is ecstasy. <laughs> Lamentation is this, that I'm playing the toy. Mother make one toy room and I'm playing in the toys with the toys. Mama, Papa, many toys bring and make one big toy room. And I become so busy, it's a very new, new toy to play. I never experienced this. And I am become so in relishing with the play that I forget Mama and Papa. But the time when hungerness starts coming, 
that toys are not working. Now I need to eat something. And then the lamentation start crying, Oh, Mama! <laughs> oh, Mama, the toys are not working. Toys are there, my senses are there, but not working. That moment when come in my life, only I lament for you, Mama. That is lamentation, because I am tired with my playing toy over, fully satisfied by playing with my senses. I need to eat something, I want to go in your lap. That is only wish now. And then Mama take the baby and then feed the breast and then is a satisfaction. Without that feeding of breast, baby never satisfied. That is necessary. This is the spiritual way of feeding from the breast of Mama, feeding the Samni is feeding us in a spiritual way, that is her breast feeding. She feeds the breast to the Manjaris to grow in a spiritual life. We are tired with the choice playing. We have no. And when we come to the service mode in my Siddha there, Without Siddha Deha we cannot do service. When we come to the Siddha Deha, that limitation, I am yours, I am yours, why you leave me, why you leave me? And when I come in my saru, by your mercy, when he gives some service to me, means he gives saru. Giving service is giving saru. Then He give the service, divine service to Me. Then He give name, age, color, everything in seva. When He give the service, that moment I am in the service, then I say not, I am yours. I say, You are Mine. I will do all the time for You. I cannot live without doing to You because you are mine. Your what service you give, you are mine. And this is my responsibility to take care of you. That is the meaning of living in service. And that is the meaning when we are suffering, I say, I am yours, bring out from the suffering, from the toys. I want to shuck your breast, Mama. I'm a small baby. I don't know my good and bad circumstances. I was busy with playing toy, but I understand is a playing toy. You want to make yourself free, so you bring many toys for me. And put me, you, one is a room toy, and you put me in my plastic body, you all twice to play. And I want to escape, I cannot. Without your mercy is not possible. No possible. I have to cry. I have to cry to come out from this toy like a baby is crying and teaching us. Not teaching, babies are not teaching us. They are not crying. Any more questions? More questions? You ask him. You have? No. Good, if I, I just felt something. Uh, Say something. No, I just felt something. I, I, I was... When you invited Bhakti, Narayan is in your heart. But when you're in Rupa Nuga, Radha and Krishna is in your heart. Paramatma is like manifesting like Radha Krishna.
in uh, Rupa Nuba is that uh, right say more <laughs> please no I please <laughs> no 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 please it's a good a good way please explain your feeling this is sharing Maharaj first yes very nice please <coughs> Radhe Radhe. Like um, what I felt in this moment is that uh, Paramatma is like a witness. He's watching all the time and that's why the karma and everything is coming to to. To, to be realized from material nature, like action and reaction, action and reaction, Paramatma is witness, witnessing. But when, I, you re, when you're really in love, and really you're acting in love, there is no witness anymore necessary. Because when you're in real love, in unconditional love, then you are the fewer, and um, and the Ishta is the doer. Yeah, oh, very nice. Go on. No. <laughs> as soon as you no, <laughs> Please, say yeah, what you want. I missed something because I had to lock, unlock Gora. I locked him in the room. <laughs> My God. <laughs> the I had to jump up now. <laughs> <laughs> he can go unlock. No, yeah, it was by mistake. Really. My God, you, you are very loving to him. Yeah. You don't want to give that. Always oh, aparad, only one apara, walking around aparadi. <laughs> no, it was a feeling for myself what I what I manifest. In in the scripture, it said that. Um, Without seva, then Radhakun looks is like the gaping mouth of a tiger. Yeah. Without his spiritual identity, we cannot do seva. And when we have a spiritual identity, we do seva more realization. And when we do with the physical identity, we don't relate much. Why we want to come in the group of you that you change my seva? That seva will come from you, it, it will develop my spiritual identity. What happened? In Siddha Deha is only Seva. What is that? What is the word? What is the word? What is the word there? Last line. Ah. The word I don't remember, I say this. Hmm. What is written there? What is very meaningful? What is that part? Grant me your devotional service. Devotion. Grant me your devotional service. Grant me means you give me through your dasi my devotional service. That is Manjari service. Sorry. <laughs> Grant me devotional service in my Manjari service. Radhika can give this grant. Guru is not giving. Hmm. Sorry to say this. Radhika is granting. Are Dasi, give this, this, go there and give to her this name and this seva. 
She is fit for that. I can feel it. She will do this seva. Grant is granting, and the dasis are following the instruction of that. Dasis recommend to Radhika. Radhika is ordering to Dasi and that granting, she grants. Money grant is coming from the Prime Minister to the office to pay this money for the irrigation. This is for the building, this is for the medical, this is for this. Grant is coming from higher. Guru is not granted. He is not granting, he is a servant. He is following that grant in right place. Where is he, he grant received, he, he received the money and he is distributing where he grants for which amount, for which person. She look and she pray, Gurudev, what you grant for her. Then she grant her. In a personal relation with closeness of Gurudev, they talk this subject privately. But without grant of taking grant from her, Gurudev doing no meaning. This grant will work in our life. And that is a Manjari Sarva, a spiritual my identity. How much I will identify myself, I accept that grant and I follow to serve that. And if I keep in my army block, because it's very valuable thing for me, nothing will work. Radhe, Radhe. Grant is coming from higher to lower. But ministers are asking grant for different, different departments. And a junior guru is asking, I need grant for ten persons, and you grant what is for which amount. So grant, they are requested by lower that I need so much, you help me. There are five, then she order, do it. And that do, that is meaning of dasi. Without listening, what I don't do myself individually, that is the divine connection of Dasi and Swami. Rathe 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 Rathe